Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video we're going to be checking out the all new, brand new T-Motor F7 Pro full function flight controller. And it's full function, so it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth too. Let's go. All right, pilots, so here we've got the full function F7 Pro flight controller. And anybody who knows T-Motor knows they are not trying to be budget friendly or they are pocket minded when they're making products. I've seen stacks and I've reviewed stacks well into the hundreds of dollars and this flight controller here is 80 bucks. So they are not trying to save you money. They are trying to give you a great product for whatever the price may be. So let's go ahead and dive into this flight controller and see what are you getting on a full function F7 Pro flight controller that is $80. Let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. It's nice to see the manufacturers make a full function or a well-rounded product, a product that is going to be able to do it all, right? That way, if you're a DJI pilot, you're an analog pilot, you're a freestyle, you're a racer, you're a this, you're a that, you don't have to worry about what you're buying. This flight controller here literally does it all. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. We've got some instructions. They give you a couple little stickers, nothing fancy. You've got your, whoo, look at that. Okay, let's slide that aside. We've got here our pack of connectors, and of course it's T-Motor, so we've got the yellow grommets, and you've got multiple, multiple plugs. Some of them are pretty dang big, and some of them are pretty small. So it depends what you're gonna be connecting to and what you're connecting for. You can repurpose all of these connectors to work in your favor. So let's go ahead and dive into the flight controller. That's pretty much all you're getting. I mean, it's just a flight controller. If you were getting an ESC, you might get an XT60 or something like that. This here, is just a flight controller. So inside of the box, we have our magical, wonderful flight controller. Holy mackerel. So there it is in all of its beauty, a wonderful flight controller made by T-Motor, and it's got everything on here. Look at that, wow. Whew. All right, where do we start? So one of the very big features that this has is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So if you don't want to deal with stuff in the shop, on the bench, you want to do it out in the field, you can do that. You can pull out on your phone, open up Betaflight, BL Heli, you can flash this thing, you can reorder your motors, you can check your black box, you can do all of this remotely. You don't have to connect, you don't have to worry about SD cards and all this other stuff. That's pretty pretty wicked. You've got eight PWM outputs. That means that you can run a octocopter because you can connect up to eight motors. Over here on this side, we have a DJI specific plug. That's this guy right here. I'm liking this here. This is the USB-C connector. They are faster. They are sturdier. They are just all around better. So in your black box, you've got 16 megs of flash, which is very nice. Now, most guys are going, well, if it's DJI, maybe there's no OSD. Well, what about me? I still fly analog and I need OSD. They got you covered. There's an OSD chip on board and that guy is right here. You've also got six UARTs. And the reason for that is because this is a F7 microcontroller and they just have more UARTs. You've got more power, more processing power, more speed, and you've also got a ton of UARTs, which are great for guys like us who might be connecting GPSs and this and that and all kinds of stuff. So it's nice to have if you need it because it's right there on board. So you might be asking, Drain Man, why is this plug so big? And the reason why is because this guy can do eight motors. It has eight PWM outputs, which means you can run yourself an octocopter or a sin lifter. Look at that. And believe it or not, look who makes those. Yes, sir. Those are the Sin 66 by T-Motor. This is a cinematic Syncopter, Synlifter. 
So what does that mean? That means that this guy has four motors in the front and four motors in the back or four motors on top, four motors on. It's got eight motors, which means it has plenty of lifting power, plenty of strength. And what you do is you mount a full DSLR camera right here. You've got grommets and this guy can carry that weight like it's nothing. Plus, look at the size of that battery and it carries all of it like it's nothing. So if you're interested in building something awesome like this, you don't have to worry because this flight controller here has all the power to do it. And when you build this big sophisticated drone and everything's hard to get to and all this stuff, you can Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, make all the adjustments that you need. This guy is nice. So that there is a ton of features. If you're interested more in the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and these things, let me know. We can dive more into it. But right now, I want to jump into the scoop and take a look and see what we got up close and personal. All right, pilots. So diving into our scope, what we see first is our STM32 F7 chip. If you've never seen one up close and personal, this is what it looks like. And if you've ever got to replace one, you see this little circle right here? You'll match that circle to this little circle right here on the board. Usually the naked eye, you can see these things depending on how good your eyes are, but always nice to have a scope. So what we've got over here is we've got a couple LEDs. These are to let you know for communication. So it's probably gonna be a red and blue LED that'll, you know, when you plug in, they light up, let you know that everything's working and talking. There's that USB see that we talked about if we head this way you're going to notice this is our DJI plug and looking at it you're seeing your 10 volt ground TX1 RX1 ground and RX2 just as you know a DJI air unit has that exact plug order so they have gone out of their way to make sure that this lines up perfectly so that way you just plug it into there plug it into there, and now you're off to the sky. The DJI air unit can handle anywhere from 7.4 to 17.6 volts, so they've installed a BEC, which I will show you here in a minute, that brings the voltage to 10 volts on the dot, which is very nice because that allows for you to connect this guy on 6S with no problems. This here is your OSD. It is your Betaflight OSD. This is the standard AT7456E chip. This is pretty much on all flight controllers that have OSD for beta flight. And right next to it, you're gonna notice these two talantalum capacitors. These are capacitors, no other than a low ESR capacitor, except they have different properties that are better used for this purpose, which has to do with your OSD and has to do with your video. Next to that, you're gonna notice this chip right here. This is your Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi chip. Uh, we're not gonna get into it too much, but this here is actually your antenna. If you didn't know that or you were quite curious what this was, that's what that is. You're probably thinking how incredible is that and if you're unfamiliar with it, this is what it looks like here. Um, you can check this out. Here's your frequency. It is a passive antenna. It's for your PCB, so it's an SMD antenna. It's also ceramic. Here's all your gains, impedance, power rating, everything, just like an antenna that you twist on the back of your quad. So this is really cool, and I thought I'd show you that just so you know what it looks like. All right, so jumping back in, we've got a bunch of connections over here. I'm not really going to go over those too much. But just know that over here on this side is everything that you might want to connect for your GPS, your uh, receivers, whether it's FR Sky, Crossfire, TBS, whatever. Now, moving along to this back side, you're going to see this guy right here. I know we all know what that is. That is an MPU 6000. That is your gyro. That is how this flight controller, or this microcontroller, knows where it is in space. And it's it's very cool, and uh, <laughs> there's a lot more to how it works, but that's what that is. Over here, you've got your crystal. This is needed to power this. Uh, over here, we've got that long plug that we talked about, and there you go, 87654321. Then you've got R4 current, you've got a ground. After your ground, you've got yourself another ground, and then you've got two battery connections. And the reason why you have double ground and double battery is so you can power two totally separate ESCs. And that's what you need to do if you're gonna run something like a sin lifter or maybe a octocopter, okay? All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this side of the board. Let's go ahead and flip this over. 
Oh wow, Drain Man. I ripped off my plug, right? You rip this off and you don't know what to do? No worries. You've got all your pads lined up right down here in the bottom. Now maybe you didn't rip it off, but you don't feel like pinning and deep pinning and all the things that come with using those plugs. I mean, that would be a pain in the neck to try to wire two ESCs into one plug. I mean, it can be done, but you're probably gonna need some heat shrink and it will probably become annoying. Uh, I would imagine inside of this bag with all these goodies, you have enough stuff to go ahead and try to make that happen. Okay, on the back side here, all of these plugs are identical to these plugs. They just pass through, that's all that is, okay? And you've got everything from LED connections to buzzer connections to just everything you got going on is gonna be over here uh, that you can work on, use, and do what you wish with. Now, on the back, what they've done is they've lined up your onboard flash, so that's what this is. This is your black box logging, and what it's got is it's got built in 16 megabytes of flash, and that's quite a bit. And when you're talking about data logging for black boxes, it doesn't take much at all. So over here are your two BECs, BEC, Battery Eliminating Circuits, and what that does is they are gonna be able to cut down to get you, you know, cause you need 3.3 volts, you need five volts, you need the 10 volts that goes for your DJI air unit. So all of that is built in this circuitry right here. So this is actually very, very important. Also keep in mind, each one of these BECs will have a limit of the amount of current that it can handle. And it does specify in the paperwork, it'll say like 10 V, slash 2a that lets you know that you cannot go over that so you need to measure the current that whatever you're putting is pulling and make sure that you don't exceed that now if you are just wiring it as it's intended for example on the 10 volt you're just plugging in the dji air unit then you'll be fine but if you're trying to connect two of them then you need to find out how much current they're pulling to make sure that you're not going to blow these components and if you did blow them it would be back here that you would see this stuff is destroyed and blown. I hope that you'll go out and get a full function F7 Pro. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. 